Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh, the executive producer for Revelations television series. It's a series on evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries all around the country that are serious about just that. We're hoping you, our viewer, to get a fresh revelation that God is still working today and is a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. Today we're visiting a ministry called CSB Ministries. They're based out of Wheaton, Illinois. And with me is the President and CEO, John Lonstein. John, thanks so much for having us today, brother. Thank you, Chuck. Welcome. We're very happy to have you with us. Yeah, it's exciting. Any ministry that's doing evangelism and discipleship just uh, gets me so excited. And uh, I was hoping you can tell us a little bit about the ministry and how it started, a little bit of the history, and maybe even some of the vision, the purpose that God's put on your heart. We say that CSB Ministries exists to build godly men of today and tomorrow. The ministry was founded way back in 1937, so we've been around for 74 years now. Founded by a, a man in Wheaton, Illinois named Joe Coughlin. He was given the uh, opportunity to have a Sunday school class of boys ages 8 to 12. Right on the first week or two, he realized, you know, God made boys and girls different. Something about the way he wired boys. They like action. They like to be involved in things, like to be doing things. They actually learn best in those action-packed environments. He created a Sunday school class with a difference, just an opportunity to present God's truth into the lives of these young boys in a way that really fits how they learn. He began a ministry that works with churches across North America and even around the world in equipping their men, just the men from the local church, to build into the lives of the next generation and to disciple those boys in a relational mentoring uh, type of context. Started just in a Sunday school classroom in uh, 1937 and here we are with ministries partnering with local churches across uh, North America and even around the world. So yeah, there's certainly some differences, you know, pink and blue and uh, so we'll focus on the blue and, and raise up godly men. That's the, and it's a mentoring thing. We feel uniquely called by God to um, build up the next generation of uh, godly men. Our existence is based on working with just regular men in local church and equipping them to invest in the lives of the next generation. We do that uh, through training and through materials, through our staff in, in the various areas across North America, helping them catch a vision of how God can use them to deeply impact uh, the lives of the boys and the young men that they're working with. Relationship is the glue of truth. That is very much an essence of what CSB Ministries is about, a relationship between an ordinary guy growing in godliness, a young boy or a young man, and building a relationship that he can speak God's truth into. Whether they're working on a small block engine together, out fishing, out for a hike, doing you know, council ring or a story time there at the church on a Wednesday evening, that God's truth is presented in that context of relationship um, where it becomes so much more meaningful and sticks with them. That's good. Well, stay tuned as we get some more interviews from folks within the ministry so you can see how God is using CSB Ministries to make disciples of young men. Stay tuned. The mission of Christian Service Brigade is to develop and grow young leaders for Christ. The history of the organization is something that I hear from men of past generations who had a great love for the kind of ministry it afforded them in their local church. They had been leaders who formed programs that brought in a lot of boys and young men saw them grow up, become leaders. My great-grandfather, Harry Amy, was part of one of the first uh, brigade units. Joe Coughlin started the ministry and my great-grandfather helped him some in some areas and he started a program in his church. And then my grandfather was in that program with my great-grandfather. Leaders in the church now who grew up going to the Christian Service Brigade program. Men who are leaders in business, who are pastors of churches, who are deacons in their churches. It's very encouraging to know that young men that we work with are learning leadership. We use Christian Service Brigade to 
disciple boys. We evangelize and introduce boys to Christ, help them grow as Christians, and then also try to show them ways that they can serve the church and, and just learn to be more and more like Christ. To build godly men of today and tomorrow. We always meet men who say, I was in Brigade as a boy. It was a great experience. Many of those men um, are with the Lord now, but to be sure, uh, the next generation has taken their place. Christian Service Brigade is about teaching young boys to be godly men in a world that doesn't really encourage that. The Scouts really do a great job of teaching young guys to be men, but not necessarily infusing them with a godly worldview. Brigade is about teaching to grow up and be godly leaders, Christian men. And to me that says what Brigade's all about, the development of leadership, not just for future Brigade groups, but for the church. Hi, right, thanks for continuing to watch Revelations. John, we're talking about evangelism. This is outreach. This is about bringing people to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. How does CSB Ministries approach that? We recognize that God has given us a mandate to make disciples. So that means introducing the person of Jesus Christ into the lives of young men and boys and then helping them uh, come to a saving knowledge of him and growing up in their faith, growing to strong maturity and becoming a man after God's own heart, a godly man. As a church, we have not done very well at reaching the next generation uh, for Christ. The church is only reaching around 4% of our current generation, those between ages, say, five and 18 for Jesus. And uh, that's a number that should scare us. It certainly is a number that we take very seriously at CSB on how can we do this better? How can we create a program, a ministry that the church can offer that's exciting to those outside of the church that they want to be part of? You know, hey, what's going on there? When they do, they encounter the truths of, of Christ in the context of real life, of guys being guys, having a lot of fun, but Jesus being presented and the relevance of a relationship with Jesus. For every child that was born into a Christian family or was attending church at the age of five, by the time they enter high school, um, the church has probably lost 30 to 40 percent of those children. In the first two years of high school, the church loses another substantial chunk. I've seen numbers from 40 to even 65 percent just in the first two years of high school. But nowhere do they see that uh, loss more than as a young person leaves high school and takes those next steps, whether it's a transition to college or a transition to a career or some time off, a tour of the world, whatever it is, we see the largest drop there. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 4% or 3.5% of those who were in the church at age 5 remain in the church after their last year of high school. Wow, that's, um, that's amazing. That's not a number that, that we can live with. Absolutely, I mean, we've got to be intentional on uh, reaching the next generation and um, not only introducing them to Christ, but building them up in the most holy faith, as the scripture says, so that when they are older, they will not depart from it. That's exactly what the word's telling us to do. Even though today's churches have never had more programs, more options to offer in terms of their children's ministries, many of those end up being great, exciting programs that the uh, kids are really into. You know, youth church uh, or, or their youth ministry program, uh, very exciting, but they never end up with a deep connection to the church and an intergenerational connection. And that's a vital part of what CSB Ministries does is it takes the, the dads and the grandpas of the church it takes the, the young men of the church and connects them with the boys and the young men who are coming up and forges that important connection to the church and most importantly, a deep connection to their faith in Jesus Christ through that mentoring relationship. And that's exciting. That's good. Well, stay tuned as we talk a little bit more about evangelism and how CSB Ministries is helping churches really disciple those men and, and bring them to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Stay tuned.
It wasn't actually just till recently that I I reconfirmed my faith, and um, so as some people put it, now I know that I know. Boys hear about Jesus Christ from from the Word of God, and we show them where these things are. We can read the story of Jesus and show them that Jesus was a real person, a real man who lived in history and uh, grew up like they are growing up. Yet he was, he was very different. Not only a man, but he was God at the same time. We show them from the Bible the story of Jesus Christ, what he said, what he did, what he accomplished when he submitted himself to crucifixion on the cross and then the story of the literal resurrection of Jesus from the dead and how that empowers Christians like ourselves you know in every generation as the boys grow as Christians you know they look for ways to serve Christ and we try to give them all kinds of different ways because everybody's different and each person is given different talents and we just try to help them find things that they can do to serve the church and develop them into good Christian role models for the younger kids. And they just keep looking up to one another and it just keeps going from there. Christian Service Brigade um, appeals to various boys through sports or activities that they may not get otherwise. And through it, we can share Jesus Christ with them. The father and dad in the family understands the Christian faith and embraces it. There's a very high percentage that his entire family will follow suit. We need to reach the lost souls in this world. The brigade program gives us a forum to do that through young guys reaching young guys, reaching their peers. And uh, we see countless times where uh, a guy will go to school and say, hey, I'm you know, going to this program on Wednesday night, why don't you come with me? Brigade becomes a great outreach program. You'll have 10 or 20 guys from a certain church and another 20 guys that are unchurched kids coming along because it's a neat program. They get introduced to the gospel. And I believe that's why God called Brigade into existence, because of the need for godly men, the need for men to be servant leaders, the need for men to step up and take their God-given responsibilities in the home, at church, in the community. Uh, Brigade seeks to be a tool to do that. But that's really what Brigade is about, is, is teaching young men to stand up for Christ and, and live a godly life in this world. Hey, thanks for continuing to watch Revelations. Again, we're visiting a ministry called CSB Ministries based out of Wheaton, Illinois. And with me is the President and CEO, John Lonstein. John, let's talk about discipleship. That's the core of the Great Commission is, is teaching them to obey all that I've commanded you. And Jesus said he'll be with us to the end of the age. So how is CSB Ministries approaching discipleship in the lives of these young men? I'm glad you asked because we see ourselves as a discipling ministry. That is the essence of what CSB is about. We feel God's calling us to disciple the next generation of leaders in church, in home, in government, in the community, in the workplace. And we do that through relationship. Uh, just taking an ordinary guy in the church who has come to faith in Christ and uh, maybe doesn't have everything figured out or have a seminary degree yet or have pastor in front of his name, recognizes that God asks every man to build in to the lives of the next generation. Teach the young men to live disciplined lives and show them all this by doing it yourself. And that's essentially what we're talking about. Guys connecting with guys, being guys, whether it's out on a fishing trip, learning how to take apart an engine and put it back together, uh, whatever the case, being guys, but living Jesus out before the boys and the young men that they have the opportunity to impact. It's really important that these, again, young men that are actually going to grow up and, again, minister to the next generation, which is discipleship, which is multiplication. So you're equipping them to equip others. We recognize that God asks every man who have placed their faith in Christ to minister to the body, to reach out and to make disciples. It 
you know, that command is given to every one of us. CSB provides an opportunity for men who have placed their trust in Christ and are seeking to grow as a godly man and impact the next generation for Jesus. We see ourselves as a ministry who comes alongside of local churches and provides the materials, the training, and the expertise to help them do ministry through their men to the boys and young men in their church and community. Well, that's great that CSB Ministry is really equipping the churches to learn how to do discipleship better. Stay tuned as we get some more interviews from folks within the ministry and you can learn a little bit about how CSB Ministry is really equipping the local church to do discipleship. Stay tuned. To reach out to young men and boys who um, either need the Lord or young men that have the Lord already and have accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. Once kids come to know Christ or if they're kids who have already accepted Christ, the program is really designed for very direct interaction between men and boys, older boys and younger guys in a discipleship format. They definitely come to know Jesus Christ. A discipleship to me means following Jesus Christ. As they learn more about Christianity and God's will, um, what Christ wants them to do for their lives, and as they're growing and trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives, it kind of merges as one as uh, God speaks to them through the, the Bible lessons that we do and just through the experiences they have through Sunday School, Christian Service Brigade, and all the programs we have at our church. They grow more and more like Christ and just look for ways to, to please God and just become stronger disciples. Becoming a follower of Christ means believing in Him, believing what He said, and trusting that His promises are valid. Living our lives in such a way as to glorify Him and to um, obey Him showing a person how to live for Jesus Christ. How they live, how they speak, how they treat other people. Be an example of the believer to those who uh, we teach. So through various activities that we do, it appeals to them. We use a lot of fun stuff like uh, pine car uh, derbies, we uh, take them camping, we play lots of games, guys love sports. But in the context of all those activities, you're building relationships. The five relational principles, because we want to relate boys to the Lord Jesus Christ. We want them to connect with the Word of God every day in their lives. They've got to be grounded in a local church. And it's the men that serve as a role model and as a guide for those boys. So all those things are related. When God's called us to a life of purpose and a life of meaning and a life of being able to leave a legacy for others to follow. So they look to us, you know, to help expand uh, a component of their men's ministry that they're not involved with. They recognize that they don't have the ability at this point to work with younger men and boys and they know that we have a track record of doing that well. And they get to see what Christian manhood looks like, how you resolve conflict, how you deal with uh, issues of integrity, uh, how you deal with uh, just being honest with your peers. Discipleship takes place in those everyday activities. That Christian Service Brigade can be your tool as a man to fulfill the Great Commission. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but be an example of or to the believers in word, in life, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. We really stress personal interactions between the men and the guys so that young guys have a positive role model. Through the activities that we do and everything, we're showing Jesus Christ and applying Christian principles to those activities. Leading others on the right path toward Jesus, things that would help them, like reading the Bible and such.
thanks again for watching Revelations. Again, we're visiting a ministry called CSB Ministries. They're based out of Wheaton, Illinois. And with me is the President and CEO, John Lonstein. John, the biggest purpose for our show, Revelations, is to encourage the body of Christ to get involved, to get out of the pews into the action, we always say. As they are presented with ministry opportunities and seeing people do ministry, we hope that the Holy Spirit will nudge in their heart to say, hey, I can do this, or I can do that. I would love to be involved in what they're doing. So how can Christians around our country support and even get involved with a ministry like CSB Ministries? Contact CSB Ministries, contact our office, and see how we can help you take those next steps. We have programs for boys uh, beginning at age you know, three and four in our, in our Tadpoles ministry on through Tree Climbers. Stockade program has been one that probably many churches around North America have heard about. That's for boys ages eight to 12. And then uh, Battalion, we used to say Battalion is where leadership is learned. There's that real emphasis in, in developing um, leadership qualities and leadership traits. And that's our, our program for high school age boys um, beginning around 12 on through 18. Wow, it sounds like CSB Ministries really helps the church uh, develop a long-term discipleship plan through the whole age spectrum of, of that child's life. Exactly. That's good. Hey, stay tuned as we get some more interviews from some of the staff and some of the, the folks with CSB Ministries so you can see what it looks like to, to make disciples. Stay tuned. One thing I think Brigade does really well is that it gives men who don't possibly have strong teaching gifts an opportunity to influence young men and boys in an activity-driven program. It is extremely rewarding to me, having gone through the program and knowing the impact it's had in my life, to see that that's available for my boys. For a church to become involved with CSB Ministries, is as easy as finding our website, csbministries.org. And there they could see what we are about and our mission, building Christian men for today and tomorrow. The number one thing would be prayer support. Um, we all need prayer in this world. We, we, need the, we need all the help we can get. We can get you hooked up with our regional director and he could get you started on what you need to put together a really good Christian Service Brigade program. This is a ministry that touches many generations, and we see the fruit of each generation passing along the truth of Christianity to the next. My family is, has been in, included in CSB for four generations. One of the main things I've learned from Christian Service Brigade is discipline and leadership, and for that I'm really grateful. I can't think of any greater service than working for our Heavenly Father, introducing Him to the boys of uh, local communities. Contact the local representative or the, the home office in Wheaton and get in touch with someone. You want to talk to the staff people. They're very well equipped to share both the goals of the ministry, the components, the support resources that they offer, and what it can do for your church. We'd love to have more churches involved in Christian Service Brigade. If you're interested, give us a call, 800-815-5573, or look at the website, csbministries.org. We'd love to talk to you, love to provide some consultation for you, and if you'd like to start a ministry of men to boys, we're there. Thanks again for watching another episode of Revelations. And John, thank you again for letting our team come and visit some of your guys and hear about what, what they're doing on the, on the front lines, helping churches uh, do discipleship. It's really exciting. What a great team you have, too. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. It, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, and I'm glad you got to meet just a little cross-section of those involved with CSB, right from our, uh, our regional staff uh, to uh, um, local church leaders and even a couple of the guys that uh, have been involved and are involved in the program uh, in battalion. And of course, that's just the beginning. Um, there's, there's leaders uh, across the United States and Canada that serve every week, uh, that uh, plan great campouts or, or activities, sporting events, uh, you name it, that uh, are just serving Jesus and making a huge difference. And we're so grateful for them. There's no greater call than a man can answer than to be the tool that God uses to unlock the potential in a young man's life. We're seeking to partner with them and to encourage them and equip them in even greater ways in the days ahead. That's good. So I'm sure as the leader of the organization, God is whispering in your ear and kind of showing you some of the horizon and maybe giving you some fresh visions. Do you want to share any of that with us? One of the things that uh, CSB has always done is thought to listen to the local church on how can we do ministry better? How can we 
provide resources for you that, that fit your ministry context even better. And we're trying to take that to an even greater level uh, in the coming years. Uh, we're in the middle of a, of a significant revision process where we're retooling our stockade and battalion programs to be even more flexible than they ever have been to really fit uh, current contemporary ministry context and ministry demands bring them up to date into the internet generation, the internet era. That's a pretty exciting process for us right now uh, is uh, revision, and uh, we're excited to see God leading us forward on that. We're celebrating our 75th anniversary next year. We're asking anybody that's been involved in the ministry, whether they were a, a leader, a brigade chairman, maybe just involved as a stockade boy or a, a battalion young man, we're excited to celebrate together 75 years of a ministry that's made a, a huge difference in the lives of uh, boys and young men. Well, what I'd like to do is pray with you and uh, ask God to move in the hearts of our viewers and also our teams to see how we might be able to co-labor together and, and take the ministry to the next level. Let's do that. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, we thank you for being our God, our Savior, our friend. We thank you that um, you've allowed us to play a part in your ministry, co-laboring together. Your word says that you've called some to be apostles and prophets, evangelists and pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. And I thank you, Lord, that you've raised up CSB Ministries over the years to, to do just that, help the church do ministry, to make disciples, to evangelize, to reach this next generation with the good news of Jesus Christ. And Father, I just pray right now with our viewers watching that your Holy Spirit would show us how we could co-labor together to advance the kingdom, to raise up godly men who will go on and raise up more godly men. And, and as this discipleship is duplicated and multiplied, Father, upon your glorious return, you would find many faithful men serving you mm -hmm. and uh, doing exactly what you've called us to do. So we'll give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise. And again, we just want to touch and agree and say that we love you and we're humbled to be a servant of the Most High Living God. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, the only one who saves. I'd like to again thank you for watching this episode of Revelations and encourage you to take a look at CSB Ministries' website. It's www.csbministries.org. Thanks again for watching.